Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about dividing whole numbers. And the best way to kind of teach you this method is to just show you through lots of good examples. So at first, the first example I'm going to show you will not have a remainder. These guys will divide into each other evenly. Okay, so example A, the directions read to divide. Okay. So we have 528 divided by 24. In the current format, it's not very useful. We can change this up a little bit to long division, and it'll be a lot nicer for us to do by hand. Okay, so you may remember this symbol. It kind of looks like a platform of some sort. And some people call it the division house. So what we do is we put underneath this area here, underneath the symbol, this is where we will put our dividend, okay? We'll put our 528 under the house, okay? And the divisor goes on the outside. So when you read this, okay, when you read this, it will read 24 goes into 528 how many times? Okay, so you may have read that similarly your whole life in similar problems. So remember, 24 goes into 528. That's kind of the, the language you're going to come back to in the cycle of this algorithm of division. So dividend is our numerator, divisor is our denominator. Okay, that's important to remember. You're going to hear me use those terms. So the first part will be looking at the first two numbers of our divisor, of our dividend. Look at the 5 and the 2. And what we'll do is we'll just look at that as if it were 52. And so what we begin by saying is 24 goes into 52 how many times? And so how many times does 24 go into 52? What you can do on the side is kind of maybe if you can guesstimate that there might be possibly two 24s. Come on the side and multiply it by two and see what you get. You should get like 48. So yeah, it'll go into it without going over it that many times. Okay, so what we're going to do with the two is we're going to put that right on top of the two and the 52. So here's how this will go. Okay, so 24 goes into 52 twice. Then we come around with the 2 and we multiply it times 24. So 2 times 24, we said, was 48. And then we want to subtract that from the 52. This may be, the, the process of this may be returning to you. Hopefully it's returning to you. And uh, it'll get easier. The more you practice it, the much easier it gets. So 2 is not big enough to subtract 8. So we'll borrow one from the 5, okay, it leaves us a 4. 12 minus 8 is 4, and then 4 minus 4 is 0, and we're going to bring down the 8 there on the end. So again, now we want to kind of look at that one, okay? We don't have to go back up to the original div dividend. Now we want to come here and look at this number, 48. So 24 now goes into 48. How many times? So 24 goes into 48 exactly two times. The answer to that question, 24 goes into 48 how many times, that answer will always come up to the top in your answer. So you see, now we're going to come around just to finish out the cycle of the algorithm. 2 times 24. See, so we take this and it comes around and gets multiplied. 2 times 24 is 48. And now if we subtract those guys, we have a remainder of 0, which is great, which means that 24 divides into 528 evenly. Okay, So that's a good thing. We like seeing that. All right, so the answer to this problem is 22. Great job, you guys. We can check our answers by multiplying the answer, the quotient, which is the answer to a div division problem. So there's our quotient, 22. So here is a division problem 
that is presenting itself in the form of a fraction. So remember this, you guys, that a fraction bar is actually a division symbol in that it means 489, in this case, is being divided by the denominator or the divisor of 21. Okay, again, we're going to set this up as a long division. So we'll have 21 goes into okay, 489. Okay, so and we're going to begin by looking at not the whole 489, but we're going to look at 21 can go into those first two digits, right, of 48, right? So here, 21 goes into 48. All right. How many times can 21 go into 48? Definitely twice. So let's just check that by taking it to the side with some multiplication. Okay. So we'll say, okay, 21 times 2 will give me 42, right? So we can't, we definitely don't have room for another 21. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say 21 goes into 48 twice, right? We'll take that around, multiply it times the divisor, 2 times 21. And where does that go? That goes here underneath, so we'll have 42 underneath of our 48. Okay, so we go ahead and subtract the 42. So 8 times, minus 2 is 6. Of course, 4 minus 4 is 0. And what happens is we bring down the next 9, the last, next digit from the top. And so we have 69. And then we begin again with the algorithm. We begin that cycle of we take 21. And we say 21 goes into 69 how many times? Okay, if you look, you can kind of guesstimate maybe three times, right? So let's check 21 times 3 on the side. Look around, play. All right. So I got 63. What I did was I placed it below the 69 here, and I subtracted it and got 6. Now, 6 is what is called the remainder. And here's what we can do. There's a couple of choices, okay? Oh, by the way, I need to put in the uh, next answer, that part of the problem there. So, let's see. So, uh, 21 went into 69 three times. So, I need to put my 3 up here in the answer. Okay, so what exactly do we do with the... Uh, Remainder, okay, there's a couple choices, and let me show you two options, and it depends on your class. Um, this is what you're dealing with. Um, now, many people will say, okay, you can just put an R6, indicating that the answer would be 23 with a remainder of 6, okay? And so what this means is there's 6 less than 23, right, that I was able to fit into this number, okay? So there would have been another round of 21 that could have gone into the number, except it was six short, right? Or, okay, the other way to do it would be this, would be to take your remainder and make a fraction. So here's the other option. You could do this. You could say, you could call it this. You could say the answer would be 23 and 6 over the divisor of 21. Okay, 21. There you go. So that's another option. Okay, so 23 and 6 over 21, 6 21st, or 23 with a remainder of 6. Okie doke.